Do you need a guide in writing your research? Are you not sure how to write your conceptual framework? Fret not, cause I gotcha! Hey there loves, welcome back to my channel. If you've just hopped into this video, welcome. I am Jean Castillo de Jesus, a public school teacher handling English and research subjects. And if you are interested to learn more about these topics, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you wouldn't miss any of my uploads. Previously, we discussed the theoretical framework and today we are going to tackle yet another subpart in chapter 1 which is the conceptual framework. In this video, we will delve into the definition, purpose, importance, functions of conceptual framework as well as the steps in writing it. Like always, there will be a sample provided, so please watch until the end. In our school, we follow a certain format in which the conceptual framework serves as the textual representation of the paradigm of the study. It is like a recipe or blueprint that provides an outline on how you will conduct your research. First, let us define the two terms related to this subpart concept and framework. A concept abstractly describes and names an object or phenomenon. That is, an intellectual presentation of some aspects of reality that is derived from observations taken from phenomena. Framework, on the other hand, is described as the abstract logical structure of meaning that guides the development of the study. All frameworks are based on the identification of key concepts and the relationships among these concepts can be delivered from related concepts or existing theories. A conceptual framework is a visual or written product, one that explains either graphically or in narrative form, the main things to be studied, the key factors, concepts or variables, and the presumed relationships among them. Always remember researchers that a conceptual framework is not merely a written literature review. Incorporates pieces that are borrowed from elsewhere. But the structure, the overall coherence, is something that must be built, not ready-made. The research problem is a part of conceptual framework and formulating the research problem is seen as a key task in designing a study. A conceptual framework is something that must be constructed and not easily found. Take note, researchers, that concepts may be borrowed from existing theories, previous research models, personal or real-life experiences, findings of the previous studies, concepts of the several theories and models. Let us come now to the purpose of conceptual framework. First, it clarify concepts and propose relationships among the concepts in a study. It provides a context for interpreting the study findings. It explains observations and it encourages theory development that is useful and practical. Pressing ahead to the importance of conceptual framework, one, it is essential to bring focus within the content. It is the researcher's own understanding of how the particular variables in his study are related. It is the researcher's map in pursuing the investigation. And now, here are the functions of a conceptual framework. First, it acts as a link between literature, methodology, and results. It represents the researcher's own synthesis of literature on how a phenomenon is explained. It sets the stage for presentation of the specific research questions that drive the investigation being reported based on the problem statement. It defines the research problem. It establishes a theoretical coherence. It organizes research design and implementation, it frames conceptual conclusions, and it provides researchers with a means of setting out explanation 
that might be used to define and make sense of the data that flow from the research question. A filtering tool for selecting appropriate research questions and related data collection methods and reference point or structure for the discussion of the literature and methodology. Researchers, we will now discuss the step-by-step -step process in crafting or writing a conceptual framework. First, choose your topic. Decide on what will be your research topic. It should be within the field of your specialization. Second, do a literature review. Go over relevant and updated studies related to your own. Use reliable source of information and use appropriate documentation. Third, you have to isolate the important variables. Identify the specific variables mentioned in the literature and show their interrelationships. And the fourth one, researchers, is to generate the conceptual framework. Build your conceptual framework using the variables studied in the scientific articles you have read. Your problem statement serves as a reference in constructing the conceptual framework. In effect, your study will attempt to answer a question that other researchers have not explained yet. That's all for the step-by-step -step guide in crafting your conceptual framework. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. If you wish to use this video lesson in your research classes, I would be very honored to be part of your teaching and learning process. This time, I will now provide you the sample conceptual framework. That's it for today's lesson. I hope you learned a thing or two from me. If I was able to help you craft your own conceptual framework, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell to keep you posted of my uploads. Thank you so much for watching and please do love research. Bye!